been so much fun. Adrian, thank you for the amazing sound. This yeah. is quite a feat. Yeah. All of these moving pieces and parts. And the theater end always feels like home. Anna, Eloise, oh my gosh, the Fortiers, Tina, Kevin, um, Nick, oh, Robbie, uh, Neil, everybody. And Paul, thank you so much. All of the veteran peeps. The beautiful waiting staff. And um, so I'm a presbyter. Just gonna lay that out there right now. A what? Presbyter. My mom was Jewish, so I'm Jewish. But my dad was Scottish American, and and um, every year we were not religious, but. Sorry, Christmas with the music kind of won. It wins. It just won every year. It just always did. Um, I'm not religious, but music is as close as it comes to me for spirituality. Um, and this is a song that my family always sang together. So I'm going to give it a shot. Pretty much every song I've ever written, I've been trying to write this song. <laughs> I never will, but it's... You know, there's something about the hymns, and it's in the music. It's sort of embodied in that music. That's that love and faith. And this song, um, In the Bleak Midwinter, is one of my very favorites. And the message is just love. That's it. That's all you got to give. We love you. We love you. I love you, too. Thank you. Thank you, Tina, so much for making this thing even happen. What a magical being you are, truly. Yeah. Really. Magical, magical being. Back at you. All right, let me try. I'll miss my dad and my sister singing the harmonies, but if you feel compelled, try. try. In the bleak mid winter, frosty wind may moan. You, Kevin. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Snow had fallen, snow on snow, snow on snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter, long.